Well, that's and that's a tough too because there's it's just it's there's so much. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. Is there an it? Okay, never mind. I found a picture. I'm trying to see if I can get a clean shot of this guy's name. I can't remember his name. My problem is, is but... like I'm torn between like what Pins is saying for like annoyance, and then mm-hmm. for like for like powerful from like a story perspective. Oh, there's, yeah. that's like that's a different like the, it's it's interesting because that's like actually a different listing for me because there's <laughs> the annoying ones are actually not bosses <laughs> they're, oh yeah they're yeah, they're, they're no like, there's one that's a boss that's like my number one that I'm, I'm like sure fuck like, you yeah, asshole I'm like <laughs> you know now that I say that I can uh, I, I'm trying to think there there's a few from like early on in video games like uh oh freaking uh Ganondorf from Ocarina of Time. Zelda? Yeah, yeah. Ocarina of Time. That guy can just fucking die. Like, I mean, actually, actually, him throughout the entire series, like, he was always a really annoying boss, but, like, the thing with Ocarina of Time was it's 3D. And so it was, like, this whole new component of, like, oh, I don't, it's not just, like, a side-scroller or a top-down scroller. Like, there's actually, like, dodging mechanics that you had to, like, still kind of figure out. And then you had to play a weird version of tennis with him. Like, it was just, like, which is the best way I can explain that entire boss fight. Like, it's basically you playing tetherball with him with a giant Nova Bomb. Is really the summary that I can give that entire boss fight. And it was the weirdest and most annoying process to figure out, like, just because of my, like, age and stuff. I was mm-hmm. like, what is going on? And then, of course, after you get done, it's like, okay, hey, you just finished a giant boss fight. Now we're going to dump a shit ton of stress on you, and everything's falling apart. Run. Yep. <laughs> I was like, god damn it. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. Yeah. Mm. All the different things. I'm <sighs> yeah like, oh my god oh my god man there's there's some bosses hey, some bosses hi chat hi they okay although I will admit one of the ones I had to pull I, I had to when I was thinking about it I pulled one out from a long time ago but I remember just how annoying he was to fight him so yeah he's on the list oh I know which one is my number three now. <laughs> Cause he's a jerk face and a half, and I never finished the game because of him. Past no, I take that back. I did finish the game. Pew, pew. But I pew, actually had pew. to skip a level to get to the finish. Beat the game type thing. Ha ha ha. Thank <laughs> you for the sub <laughs> Talking about skipping a fight. That's. <laughs> he warden eternal it was, oh god that, yes. that was one of those <laughs> you, you spawn in there's like three of them and you're like yep fuck this i'm going over the map <laughs> like you, i was like see this? nope <laughs> well the, but the thing is Pass the first that. time i went through that i didn't oh, know my I, didn't god. Know about choo, choo. So I, remember, I had to beat them i up. remember you telling me that i was like you can what <laughs> oh, we're doing that option because screw yeah. this noise oh. Okay, did you see what Rex wrote? Uh, Rex. Raz wrote. Vex <clears throat> eyes are red, awoken are blue. Here's to two months. Something, something, screw rhyming. It's a whip. <laughs> 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 Thank you for the subs. Buddy, I need you to leave me alone, baby boy. You are being so needy tonight. Oh, shit. Yeah, there's. It's so fun reading other people's list of like most annoying because like you can tell the type of game like type of player they are. Like this list right now, this person is like totally a a tank player, and so like all the people, I'm like, these guys weren't hard. You just had to have pay. Oh, that's your problem. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. They're like a closed doctor's office. No patience. Yeah. Oh god. And that's my dad joke for the night. Thank you very much. But I'm ching. Oh man, the also rans list is starting to get long. 
<clears throat> yeah, there's there's a couple good ones that I forgot. Like, so like Ocarina of Time has a number of them. Mm-hmm. Like all the the gym or not the gym, the temples. Dark Link. Oh, jeez. That was that was the interesting one for that one too because Dark Link was literally a. Uh, he was like one of the first times that they did uh, like mirrors. Yeah. Like, with uh, your tactics, like the way that you would play, it is actually programmed to mirror back whatever you did. And it was like, again, it was, I just remember that game because it was like the first time it was like, oh, oh God, I've had to like <laughs> think about what's going on. Yeah. Oh, the tyrant. Fuck that noise. Hazek. Screw Dark Link, potatoes and chat. <laughs> no, right? <laughs> God, Dark Link was just such a. I, you know, okay, the thing that's cracking me up, and <clears throat> I don't know why she's the number one on so many of these lists, but Gladys, like, I, I get Gladys. Gla I mean, really? Yeah, Gladys I mean, is like, number one on a lot of the list I've seen. And I'm like, like, for like most mm -hmm. annoying or most like interesting? They're they're just I because like I could see most I, I could see the, yeah I could see like most oh fuck Colossus of Rhodes that guy can just god I hated that thing um <laughs> God I mean like Gladys from like a, a story Ganon that's who it was like from yeah, a story Ganon. uh from a story perspective Gladys has some like really interesting uh like it's got I she's mean, got she's got interesting she's twists I wouldn't up. I mean she's yeah very twisted. But you could also say, oh, yeah, that guy. Uh, you could also say, yeah, I'm sorry, I'm rolling through all these lists, and I'm like, oh, my God, I <laughs> forgot all the Lavos from Chrono Trigger, Big Daddy, fucking Rocksteady and Bebop. They can just all go to hell. The oh, final, my goodness. The final Colossus. Oh, my God. That wasn't, that wasn't a hard boss. That was just a depressing as shit fight. Because that was at the in the shadow of the glosses. That was after you figured out that you were like the bad guy, and you're like, I don't want to do this anymore. Well, it's like, the, what was the name of the bad guy at the end of uh, <clears throat> Senua's sacrifice? Oh yeah, that. Well, you're you're basically oh, yourself. Wow. Yeah, um, yeah, that one was that, that one was a, a gut wrenching that, fight. That was a tough one to because I watched the I watched the cinematic playthrough of that one. And Aww. Yeah, she <gasps> is. Thank you, Phoenix. I love you too. <laughs> that makes anyway. Fuck Diablo. God damn it. Yeah. Leatherhead on Ninja Turtles was uh, rough. Oh yeah, no. Was... Ninja Rocksteady and Bebop was oh my god. If you if you could get to them, first off, mm -hmm. that was that was the The entire game was the bad guy. Let's all just be honest there. Dracula from Castlevania. Jesus. I'm just gonna shut this list because that's depressing as shit. Mm -hmm. See, I I go back to there was a game called Outlaws that was by Lucas Arts way back when. Yeah, that was, was way back, wasn't it? Yeah, that was 1997, and uh, there were a couple of fights in there that took me forever. All right, come here. There we go. Because the only action. way I was able to beat them was just to, to like lure them into a trap, which took mm -hmm. me hours to build. <sighs> this dog. This dog is like all up in my face. Yes. Potato, I agree. That one, that is actually one of the bosses is in my... <laughs> the entire <laughs> game. <laughs> <laughs> it is one yeah, right, I mean, it is it, i mean right it's yeah yeah that was actually the first game i ended up beating too so oh, I proud. yeah that that game was that game i spent <clears throat> a lot of time in as a kid <laughs> <All right. laughs> mike tyson for mike tyson's punch out oh god <laughs> oh, geez. oh god oh okay. god that's a bad one. I don't know one. how many quarters I burnt to try to beat that thing. <laughs> the description. Yes, Doggo wants to be held on a the podcast. A single slip up and you're pretty much doomed to fail. Yeah. <laughs> Should we start audio and start? Uh, yeah. Start are we Are we doing um all everyone, audacity? Everyone on their own, or what are we doing? Uh, Pins, do you have audacity? I know you. Yep. 
Awesome. Okay. I figured you did since, since you've been doing say. some recordings. Well, I'm actually I'm actually not in my office. I'm downstairs because ah. it, I've been thinking about I think the audio is a little bit better down here. And plus, uh, it has a tendency to echo upstairs and annoy Aaron. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that I know upstairs. that. Oh, buddy. You need to decide where you want to go, doggo. Because right now you're just you're up, you're down, you're up, you're down. Go away. Go away. Thank you. <laughs> just tap his butt. Okay. Oh right. boy. So we have Audacity pulled up, everybody. Hang on. Yep. Call it. <laughs> All right, here we go. Three, two, one, click. Yay, click. Yay, yep. for the click. All righty. Oh, but fuck no. you, cyber demon. <laughs> no. Okay. Blue is going down <laughs> memory road. I'm done. Like, that's the other problem is there's so many... <laughs> Oh, yeah. Oh, We're going to have also shit. rans for days on this one, I think, because yeah. so many games. Oh, yeah. I think, and plus, I mean, I could actually start throwing in um, some of the old video games I used to play, like once you got uh, like above level seven on you know, Galaga in China. Oh, mm -hmm. oh. That was another, so, game. That was another game that it's just, what's the boss? The game. The game yeah. is uh -huh. the boss. Yeah. So you guys need to make your way over here because Yeah, because you the, have the uh We the, have a barcade. Yeah. Is that the one that's at the Garden of the Gods? No, no, well no, there's an <clears throat> arcade, like a classic arcade outdoor and Manitou Springs, which is Manitou, a ton of fun. Manitou Springs. That's the one because I think yes. that one is one of our executives uh when they were out there, I think he went up and there's like a big walking path that's like all the steps or something. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it's like that's uh, the Manitou incline. It's a yes. mile straight up almost. Yeah, he said like he was and he he did it and he was like he's like, Oh, I took my time. But I, he was talking about like the guys and the guys and gals who will like speed run it and everything. Oh yeah. And I'm like, uh no. So that's a, funny that's story a about that that incline. So Julie and I got married in Manitou Springs, right? We mm -hmm. got married at Garden of the Gods. My family came up, they stayed in the Manitou area. It was great. And we were there for a week. My sister and her boyfriend at the time were there with us. And we all decided we wanted to do the Manitou <coughs> Incline. All of us lowlanders from Kansas. <laughs> and um, <laughs> no, you're good. Um, Trudy and Logan were really quite in shape. Logan was looking at going into the military at the time. And so they went ahead. They just pushed on forward ahead. And Julie and I just kind of took our time going up. And I get a little bit of altitude sickness as I'm climbing and the the pressing part is like we pass this lady as we starting and this it's this older lady who has like walking sticks and she's she's you can tell she's done this quite a few times um she's just walking very gently at her own pace just taking her time she looks down at our boots and goes oh is this their virgin climb and I'm, both julie and i are like yeah because this is our this is brand new shoes you know because we're dummies and uh about 15 minutes later she's like, passing us because that's julie and why I are she... like dying climbing the incline we both i i had to stop i ended up throwing up at the bailout because there's a bailout about two-thirds of the way up and it was it was just bad. Of course, my sister was just like, "I want my fucking shirt," because there's oh. a shirt that you can buy afterwards. Says, "I survived the Manitou incline." And, oh, okay. oh my gosh, she's just because she and Logan made it all the way to the top, but Julie and I were like, mm -mm, "Not doing mm -hmm. it." It was bad. I just, I the first time I'd done any like significant climbing, marching was. Obviously, when I was in basic training, and I had a fifteen ma fifteen mile ro uh, road march to go on, and the first, having never done anything like that, oh, that was painful. <laughs> oh I mean, yeah, just because you also have a pack on your back that's mm -hmm. like you're carrying about twenty pounds and whatnot. So yeah, that's always fun. 
Yeah, that's. Mm. But then again, because Thanks. I was a tanker, after that road trips were okay. Load up the tank and drive. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That would have been nice. <laughs> but uh, you guys should come out because. In town, we have a barcade, which you can basically you buy a or you don't buy, you get a wristband, and that wristband is tied to essentially your credit card that's on file. Mm -hmm. And the wristband has a little chip in it, and it will buy you essentially quarters as to, into the that's games. That's dangerous. And it will also buy you per ounce your beer or wine or cider or whatever you're drinking. All you have to do is just press the little wristband up to the wall on whatever pool <laughs> you want. That is so dangerous. Oh, yeah. yeah. And actually, the thing is, is I've gone two or three times now, and the maximum I've spent, partially because I'm not a big drinker, has mm -hmm. been like $13 for myself, maybe $14. Yeah, it really isn't. And it's still quarters. It's not like they're yeah. doing 75 cent games or anything like that. But Yeah. Uh <clears throat> oh. but we At should start point. yes we probably should you ready uh yeah hang on let me queue up this i'll create a backup too okay, okay. yep there you, yep. you want to put a little marker in twitch to say this is when uh, it actually starts? yeah hang on let me let me remember to do that top three start added sweet all right, nice. here we go. Thank you for reminding me of that. You are most welcome. <laughs> All right. Welcome to FFC Top 3, a show where we, your FFC hosts, count things down from three to number one. Thank you for joining us this week. If you have a suggestion for a topic for Top 3, be sure to drop us a note in all the usual places. Easiest place is Twitter. Just at Focus Fire Chat, or even if you want to just direct it at me at Green Eye Music Lover, hit me up with your topics, your discussions, your top three list. Because this week we're going to do our top three best villains. Well, best, worst, it's all, <laughs> it's all a subjective, right? Apparently, GLaDOS is the number one across yes. the internet. Is what uh, yeah, the what internet we've learned. Has really determined that GLaDOS is like the the worst. I best. just I'm I'm still honestly trying to figure out if they're talking about like the most difficult because I don't agree with that, or the most yeah. like interesting because I could I don't really agree with that either, but I could see that argument. I don't know. I don't know, but we'll find out what your guys' list are this week. We've got. With us, obviously, Blue, like normal, and our good friend, Pentalo. Surprise! See? Hey. And we're going to talk about our top three villains, and I'm going to make Blue go first, then Pins, and I'll wrap us up. Blue, what is your number three villain? Number three for me, so most most of mine are, I'll be honest, they're not like the most, well, it's, but that, it, whatever. Gravemind is number three for me. Um not not because of like difficulty, but because of the interesting story that he is involved with within like Halo Two, um, and just like the general mythos of the Halo universe as a whole, like the Grave Mind concept, like especially mm -hmm. Key Minds, which is absolutely terrifying. Um, <laughs> which will, I mean, we'll we'll kind of we're not going to probably. Well, I don't think Pins. We're not going to talk about that this week, right? We're not talking about the no. any of the. No, because that'll take us down a rabbit right. hole. But <laughs> hey, let's talk about out. let's talk about key minds and terrify everybody. Um, <laughs> no, so like like Grave Mind, like when he was introduced in uh, Halo Two, like he was it was just a really interesting concept because on top of that, you also had like the the uh, the whole conflict between the Arbiter and Chief, and you know the whole thing of like the common enemy and all all just like all this cool stuff coming together. Um, mm -hmm. But like. Yeah, he he's just he's always one of those characters from like a, especially like a storytelling perspective. Like I find a lot of like I I do kind of see him as a really interesting uh, character that was used to unify two enemies into becoming allies in a way. It was it's just a really cool story uh, tool. Yeah, I mean, in in all of Halo, uh, the flood in general is arguably one of the most interesting villains um, or opponents. And there's still nothing, I have yet to come across anything more intense 
than the introduction of the flood in Halo season. Oh, oh, that. Oh my gosh. Yes. Well, and then like you know we were talking talking about the flood. Like that was like when we went to the outpost thing in Tampa, and they were like, "Oh, this is the flood." Like the base carrier. It was like I'm like, oh. Okay, it's that's huge. not that's not at all what I picture because I keep forgetting that Master Chief's like seven and a half feet tall, and I'm like yep. that thing's that thing's big, like that mm-hmm. that puts a whole new level of terror in my mind. Two and a, it's two and a half feet tall. <laughs> yeah, those little guys crawling around are two and yeah, a half feet yeah, tall. Yeah, just they're the not little, that little, the popcorn guys. Yeah, they're not they're not the popcorn. popcorn guys. Spoiler. Ooh. Oh yeah, because well, like every time you even look at them, they go pop 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 pop. Like yeah, yeah. Spoiler alert: They're not. No. Oh man. Yeah, Halo. I'm. We're gonna get a lot of Halo tonight. I'm. I'm yeah. curious if Halo is gonna make it onto anybody else's list as far as villains go, though. Pins. Well, um, my <laughs> number three that is actually going to be not necessarily a single villain, but it, it reminded me how much I hated fighting these guys when I was running halo 2 and that's the halo 2 jackal snipers <laughs> reach out go sit on it and spin okay reach out and touch somebody it's like it's like okay okay you're lining up you're like, you go to peak and all of a sudden you die like, where did, it's, where so, did it's from? so true oh no i mean like they didn't even have to hit you like square on it was like oh yeah that yeah. that hit the ground like two inches by you're yeah. dead oh, oh my god it's like a thousand voices in Halo. Yeah. Oh God, those things, yeah. and they were so quick. That was the mm-hmm. other problem. Is like you couldn't even like. I remember it's. I think we were talking. Is it the regret? Regret the one where? Yes. Regret. It's the outside and it's the circle. Mm-hmm. Oh my God. Oh Playing no that... no no no. There there's that inner like. That oh inner yes. The where oh. you have to face the two hunters yeah. eventually. And yeah. has the big hologram of regret there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I think it took me two hours to work through that one. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yikes. Yeah, no. Yeah, no. no. <laughs> Wicked. Yeah. One shot, one yeah. kill. Without looking. Without aiming. <laughs> without a without rifle. Without a rifle. <laughs> Just and the, if stairs could kill. <laughs> it's, oh, God, man. There are times you can where never it's tell like... When you... And you can never tell when you finally killed the last one. Right. You thought you killed the last one. You're like, That's... oh, good. And then all of a sudden you die. <laughs> you have to start. And you have to start all over. <laughs> yes. Oh. Ooh, rough. that's that's yeah. back when that's back when you'd like i'm like i'm not mm-hmm. moving from behind this cover until the music changes oh my gosh <laughs> oh speaking of that speaking of music changing that's actually my 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 number three is we're not in the halo universe for this one we're gonna go to my second most played game ever and it is a game with dragons <laughs> And <laughs> Nords. I was gonna have wonder. I was wondering if this was gonna get brought up. And it's it's a tie. I'm gonna put two. I'm gonna cheat and put two as my number three. It is the and I'm gonna. Oh, I really want to curse. It is the crabs. Oh yeah, yeah. And, and the trolls in Skyrim and Oblivion and any of the Elder Scrolls really, but the trolls in particular, like the crabs are annoying because you never know where they're at, but the music starts happening and you can't fast travel because you have an enemy nearby. You can't, you can't rest. There's an enemy nearby. Where is he? I'm going to kill him. It's just, it's just a crab. Just like following you. It's like, Oh my gosh, you guys are the worst villain because you were just like the slowest, most annoying one shot thing. And then you have trolls that show up and they will chase you for miles. And she's not joking either. They will chase you across the entire map. It's so, and you're sitting there and I'm a bow. Like I like, I'm an archer because that's my main. And I'm just sitting there just pinging them with arrows. They look like a pin cushion by the time I'm done with them, but they're still almost full health because arrows don't do <laughs> And because they heal themselves. <laughs> yes. Oh my gosh. I so the worst one was going to see the graybeards. I think that's what they're called. <laughs> yeah, it's an unnamed <sighs> troll. 
It's an unnamed it's troll, and it's completely blocking your random, path. Completely wow. random troll. Not even a boss. It's just a no. random troll. There it's is just, the reason I say oh, that is there God. is a boss troll. It was in the Dawn yes. Guard DLC. Yes. And he was annoying as <laughs> blankety blank. Like he was, he was annoying. But no, I know exactly the troll you're this talking troll, about. And it this was, troll was way uh, worse. Uh, because you're not, it's like the bear. The random bear yes. that's on the mountain. It's like you turn the oh, corner, you're like, oh, oh, hi, run away, run away. <laughs> right. But the random bear at least has like a set set of patterns and it doesn't heal itself. So you can, you can eventually. The troll kill champion. It. That's what it is. <laughs> oh my gosh. He is just such, he is such a jerk. But you can't, you can run past him. You have to have some sort of invisibility to get through it. Or you just have to run and pray that he doesn't catch up because he's a fast jerk too. Yeah, he is. Oh my god. Yeah, he he's my number three. He is he was my nemesis at the beginning of Skyrim. Like I almost rage quit that game because of that unnamed troll. And that's at the beginning of the game. That's before really. you had like the fire the fire that's abilities and stuff because That's before you get any shout. Yeah, no you no no. But like you could the... you could get a fire like a oh. uh, uh, oh, the spells spell. and yeah. stuff yeah yeah because that's honestly that's how i beat them is you pop them with a fire like even a small fireball you just pop them and then i'll stop oh, their yeah. healing but yeah. yeah oh god trolls i was oh yeah not fun <laughs> all right number two somebody and yes else pins some yes pins you will you will you will die laughing at my number one so i we already know that's gonna happen Mm -hmm. uh my number two is uh ganon ganondorf uh again like again from like he's kind of a hybrid right he's like the story for ganon and ganondorf is really fascinating like within the whole universe of uh of zelda um or the or the story of link or whatever however you want to refer to it um like ganon is is one of those permanent features within that universe much like the much like link is um, mm -hmm. and, and like his evolution throughout the story has also been very, very, very interesting to follow. And his motivation is also much like it was, it was really complex even back, even back in like the SNES days, like even the really early days. Um, and, but like the biggest fight that I remember with Ganon and Ganondorf is really honestly the Ocarina of Time fight, the very final boss fight. And that's because it was like, and we were kind of talking about this before it was because, Ocarina of Time, uh, aside from being just an awesome game and and just you know one of my favorite games ever, is the introduction of like 3D. It it introduced the concept of three dimensions within the combat, and which was like it especially at that time for the age that I was at that time, it was just mind blowing, like the whole different dimension that it introduced. And so I just remember with Ganon, you're running around this tower, you're up in the top of the, the big tower at the very end of the game, and you're running circles, or literally circles around him, which was, that was fascinating in and of itself. But then he starts launching like balls of energy at you. And it's basically playing a demented form of tetherball with him. And it's like whoever whoever messes up first gets knocked on their butt, and then and then the the culmination of this is you finally beat him, and the game's like, all right, good job, you survived the you know the super stressful thing of doing that. Run because everything's falling apart, and then you had to run yeah. all the way back down the tower, like the whole thing. I was like, oh my god, like it just I remember the adrenaline from that fight was like that was one of the first like that was one of the first really big final boss fights that i remember like the the physical like adrenaline like go 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 like it's just so it all that 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 fight always will stick with me for for that memory yeah gosh i think zelda characters or like the zelda villains are really interesting just because mm -hmm. they have such a overarching because of how big the franchise is at this point well and the other thing is is like you know, I, I know a lot of people will kind of make fun of Zelda for this, but it's one of those franchises that fully just completely embraces the the multiple timeline aspect. Oh, my um, gosh. And, it, and like, I down. mean, I, right. No, I mean, it, it is. But at the same time, like, that's what makes, I think, some of the, the villains really like Majora's Mask is like he's he's a like the, the, the Majora's Mask is a fascinating concept. And it's really sad. 
like mm-hmm. his the story of what the Majora's Mask does and like the kid that is that is possessed basically by it. It's like it's really sad, you know, and then there's like the whole thing with uh, the Twilight Princess. Like it's just, again, the whole story is always just it's got such weight and it was just so cool as a kid playing that because it was one of those things where it was like, it was completely accessible to you as a kid. I remember Ocarina of Time. You're like going back even now and watching, like watching it as rough because the graphics and I, I get that, but like the, the plot reading, like if you just read the plot of Ocarina of Time, it's like, okay, for, for a game that is really actually really easy, easily accessible to kids who are pretty young this is a there's like a lot of advanced concepts that are going on you're you're dealing with time travel you're dealing with the paradox of time travel you're dealing with the betrayal of a military coup and a political coup in the in a kingdom like i mean there's there's a lot of stuff and it's all i mean i I remember not having any problem with it like i understood exactly what was going on as a kid playing that game so i mean it's to me that's one of the things that stands out with like the zelda franchise is they do a really good job of taking these like really big topics and really big problems and being like, all right, hey, look, this is you're a kid from a forest, so we're going to explain it to you like you're five, and we're going to do really good at jo- a really good job of doing that. Yeah, hard concepts being taught to children at young age. Yeah, I mean that's Gambit, right? Just teach it to him in a game. <laughs> I think that's what I mean, Green. That's what sure. Green told me. Yeah. That's how that's how I taught children for years. We'll not get into what I taught them, but we'll, I was that's like, how I don't know, I didn't know that them. about you, Green. So Green um, was uh, Green. Green had a gambit ring running for yeah, small oh, children. Rattle, rattle, right. <laughs> Let's play a game. Um, Transmet fire. Transmet fire. Trans- <laughs> <laughs> All right, Benz. What's your number two? Okay, my number two actually is not Halo related, and it's actually tied to the Star Wars franchise. Oh. Um, it is from Dark Forces Two, Jarek. No, no, no. <laughs> get get out! Like, oh my god! Did you see they? Uh, there's arguments that that's canon now. Oh god, no. They, there, 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 is the, there is the there is the potential you. that Dark Forces, which means Kyle Katarn, is potentially canon. Which I'm so excited oh, no. for. Oh my god, Kyle Katarn is amazing. But um, no, they. Well, I mean, they, the story they're bringing... in Dark Forces and Dark Forces Two was really good. It really, yeah, it was it really amazing. Was well done. The, they did a book series on it. It was freaking yeah. awesome. It's like one of my favorite young adult book series from the Star Wars expanded universe. Um, mm-hmm. No, they uh, so they ported it into the Switch. Disney actually brought it into uh, Dark Forces, Dark Forces Two, and I don't think it was Jedi Academy. But um, they uh, those they announced that it's coming to the Switch, which of course now everyone's like, wait, does that mean it? Because like they've only been doing that with canonical stories ever mm-hmm. since the the Great Purge, if you will. Um, yeah. Oh my gosh. But that fight with Jarek. Now mm-hmm. the other mm-hmm. thing is that this was oh god, what mid mid nineties? Like it was yeah, still I relatively think. early on, and the in PC gaming and and whatnot, and I was I was into Star Wars at that point in time. I mean, I didn't grow up with it, but I had gotten into it because of some of my other friends, and we picked up Dark Forces, loved it. Picked up Dark Forces too. I don't know how many times I started that last fight, stopped, walked away, and then came back later because I was just so annoyed because he kept going into that center uh into mm-hmm. the well mm-hmm. and i was and it took me forever to figure out okay you needed to hit the switches behind the statues so they wouldn't oh, close it <laughs> right yeah oh no my that thing was, my my thing with that one was that was that also was cool. the introduction of like the lightsaber combatant like the lightsaber yes. component was like the mm-hmm. weirdest thing for that like, I remember having so much trouble, and I remember getting frustrated and being like, you know what? Fine. Here's a thermal detonator because I don't like any of you. Like, I was like I'm like, I'm done trying to be like the, the elevated knight. I'm like, no, I'm just going to throw a grenade at you and see what, how you yes. do that. Goodness. Uh, and plus, Jarek could use, like, he could use force lightning. He could, he had some kind of. Uh, it's not a death bomb, but there is some other some other kind of. It's just like yeah, it was like a it, Sith. Like, a Sith bomb, I think, was it? 
something like that. A Sith bomb? I, I yeah, which I which in which in expanded in expanded that universe, that. universe that is a legit thing. Actually, we'll don't get me started on that. That was a very yeah. interesting. It's a very interesting thing. It's like a force bomb, basically. They summon all. They, it's basically. Uh, it's a spirit bomb from Dragon Ball Z. It, I really feel dirty agreeing with your statement that you just made, but if you really want to oversimplify it, kind of <clears> yes, <throat> it makes me feel so bad. But it kind of, I mean, like, and that's kind of the thing is like they they would do, and usually it took like a lot of. I don't think his was because he was like an inquisitor. God, mm-hmm. man, I'm looking at uh, well, I think, the artwork from the book series for Jarek. Yeah, he was such a cool character. Well, plus he could like force jump really high, and mm-hmm. he would land on top of you. It was like I, I kind he of imagined was it annoying. was what like death from above would be if you're <laughs> running a light mech and Highlander oh landed on you. Okay, <laughs> battle type reference for anyone who's out there. So, okay, you guys are talking about force pushing and spirit bombing and ish thingies and force and lightsabers and I'm going to go with jumping on something's head or throwing an apple at them with my next one. You ready? Gosh. Oh. Do you, does he dress up in a raccoon suit? No, I, it's not Mario. We're not going that direction. Although, okay. I mean, that's um, death from above. True, true. Um, this one is also a, kind of a mid '90s, early to mid '90s game, and it is the boss from Aladdin, Jafar. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, I think you've been listening to Top Three since we've started this thing. I've talked about the Aladdin game in my in my history, and it was the first game I ever finished, but. That boss. <laughs> There's a lot of cursing that wants to happen this evening. Yep. For the children, yep. I am being very nice and not doing that. Um, so oh, yeah, no yeah. Doubt. But Jafar was such a jerk because you all you did first a like you had all these levels with lava and stuff like that before you get to him, and then he turns into the snake, and the snake was just <sighs> there were some very specific combinations you had to use and if you missed up once you were dead and i just i hated it so much it was one of (laughs) it was one of the worst rage quits i ever had but i did manage to to beat him eventually the level i had the most problems on was the lava level just because i'm terrible at driving slash flying but i'll go beyond that Yes, Bibble, I agree. That is something I cannot say at the moment, but I agree wholeheartedly. <laughs> wholeheartedly. Jafar was a jerk. Anyway. Carry on. We're going to number ones now. Blue. As promised, I'm going to break pens because he's going to understand exactly <laughs> the the enemy <laughs> classification, if you will. <laughs> Bears. Because they can just go and freaking just die. Like I, oh my god, it is literally like the like. So I play, I play, I love playing RPGs, and like it's been a long-standing joke. I think it was what was it, Tomb Raider? That stupid f- f- bear. Yeah. And it wasn't like even the bear; it was actually the mechanics that I was trying to figure out because, again, 3D. And I'm like, mm-hmm. I'm running circles, and it's like the but- button prompts for uh, dodging were like just it. I I just was not connecting with the game. Let's just put it that way. And like this bear just kept murking me. Like it was just like this bear was like basically like standing in the <clears throat> middle of the circle that I was trying to run and being like, "You're an idiot. I'm just gonna smack you." And so right. I finally, finally, <laughs> finally managed to get this thing. And, and believe me, that stream was very, very adult language themed. There was a lot of adult language in that stream. So we finally well, figured I that think, out. No, go, go for it, it. Go me for and it. Ben in that stream. Oh God, it was watching. so bad. I, I was just like, I was just getting so pissed. And I finally got it done. And I'm like, all right, you know what? F bears, like just F. So, anyways, I'm like, I'm gonna take a break. I'm gonna go back to a uh-huh. game that I know that I can do, like relax and have some fun in, and <clears throat> I load up Skyrim. Oh no! First thing, I'm not. I I oh I, no! I bleep you not. The very first thing, my character drops in or you know loads in. I turn around and there is a giant 
freaking grizzly standing right there. And I'm just looking at it and I'm like, you have got to be. And like, even before I get done with the sentence, I'm dead. I'm like, I'm done. I'm done. Like, I'm just, I'm done. Like, I just was like, I'm done playing video games for a week. Like, I just can't do this. Oh we know how Blue's eventually going to die. I, I, yeah, no, he's just no. going to have a bear show up. Oh, no, it's, it's no. It's over with. Well, that's like, so someone was talking, there was a, like, I, I have the utmost respect oh. for nature. Like there is, there's things in nature that I'm like, yeah, that thing's gonna that that will that will effing destroy you in reality. Cougars are the one thing that I'm like, nope. If I'm if I'm like in Colorado when when I'm growing up, we'd always take like vacations out in Colorado, and we were out in the Estes Park area, which Green and I have had. You know, we've had this conversation mm-hmm. yet, or we've had this conversation, and like I remember. I distinctly remember being in Estes Park because like when you're in in the area that we were in in Estes Park we had a, a cabin that we like it's like budding right up against the Rocky Mountain National Park and like you'd get the announcements you're like hey don't go outside there's a cougar that was it. That's all that they yep. said. And it's like, all right, cool. Lock the doors. Get the shotgun. Where'd the shotgun go? Like, I mean, it's just like, I'm no question. I am not going outside. I remember as a kid being like, nope, nope, mm-mm, not going outside. Like, it's just, and the only thing is, is like, I would just say, go watch documentaries of a mountain lion hunting. And it's just, nope. Like, it's impressive. It's, nope. Big like, cats you, in general are yeah. just yeah, impressive. They, they are like... It, it's disturbing like, how silent they are. So, I, uh. ironically enough, up in Colorado, there are not as many like mountain lion or cougar attacks or bear attacks, even as there are moose attacks. Yes, believe it or well, not. Yeah, because moose are freaking tanks, anyways. They're also jerks, and they hate dogs. <laughs> yeah, they yeah. hate. <laughs> dogs like they will they will maul a dog just because it doesn't like the way it looks apparently like it's some it's a major problem so if you which were is ever really hiking, disturbing when you see how big a moose actually is like, and i have a 11 pound chihuahua but i still have to be careful that we go, don't go anywhere near moose because apparently the like one ton animal is really angry at my 11 pound ball of fury <sighs> just yeah moose are terrible anyway bears bad cougars oh. bad. i remember i remember like in the and i just the, the that just makes me think the there was like the second summer that we were in estes park uh they had a they had a rogue deer or rogue elk running around one of the uh the uh, golf courses <laughs> and which is like not uncommon like there that elk will show up and or i think it was an elk i can't remember it was it was something but it was like, the, the thing was it wasn't the fact that it showed up like they didn't really care no it got pissed off and was it trapped people inside the country club and oh, like geez. and like it was battering down the door because i don't i don't know why but it, it, i guess it was mating season or something and it was just it was on it was feeling its wheats and it was just like I'm like, <laughs> but I remember reading. I'm like, that's like five minutes away from. I'm not going outside. Mm-hmm. I'm not just. I'm gonna stay. I'm staying right here. We're gonna just play board games and. Oh, it's, it's an indoor day. It's fine. It is, it is an indoor day. Yeah. Exactly. It's like, yep. Oh yeah. All oh, right, uh, which actually one more story. All back right. To, back to bears in real life. Estes Park is also where I learned that bears are addicted to charcoal. Yes. Because also, I I woke up one one morning and, or one night I guess I should say, and my head was up again. Like I slept with the the bed that I slept in was like right next to a window, and we had the charcoal cans outside, and I hear rummaging. We wake up and we look outside the window, which you know it's a window, so there's nothing there. There, there's a giant black bear, which black bear in perspective of bears they're not giant it's, but yeah, they're, really they're still small. pretty big for like mm-hmm. you know an eight nine year old and i remember looking at it and being like yep nope nope mm-mm. you can have all the charcoal want you want charcoal? you can you yeah the, it's the reason it's the, well think about it because most of the time there's the mineral aspect of it but there's also okay. the fact that when you see charcoal or when you're using charcoal is because you've been grilling most people um, grill meat. The bear are going to smell right. like grease too. So that's another okay. attractant to them. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this guy. I mean, he just he was munching away. He was completely, completely no like he had no interest in us. He found the charcoal like 
cash and he was just like I'm yeah like, fun you fact, know what bears knock yourself out won't, they won't do anything to you like we mm-hmm. julie and i yeah. actually hiked um we stayed overnight in the mountains about a month ago and um we we know when you're out there with bears and you have food you're supposed to basically um toss Mm-hmm. a rope over a limb and raise your bag of food up off the ground so the bears can't get to it. You just basically hang it from a tree so they can't reach it. And obviously you tie it down to where you can get to it again. But um, somebody else who was at the location that we oh, were no. camping at didn't do that. They had just coolers set off to the side uh, and a bear came into a camp yep. that mm-hmm. same morning that we were there and we were only maybe hey, a quarter boo-boo. of a mile away. Uh huh. You got Where's the pick and nick baskets. Pick and nick baskets. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely. And they that bear destroyed their mm. cooler, getting into it and just munching away because they they don't want anything to do with you. No, no. Bears just want the food, and that's all mm-hmm. they care about, which is nice. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Anyway, it is nice, especially should, when you see how big they are. Yeah, we should get back to number ones. Yeah, because f bears. <laughs> Because bears, bears, don't, stink. bears don't want anything to do with you unless you're in Skyrim or Tomb Raider and yes. you're Blue Crew. Then they will yes. hunt you down and they'll pretend like they're Liam Neeson out of Taken. Murderize. <laughs> they will find you. They will find you and they will kill you. Don't Pretty worry. Much. They are the Nova Bombs <clears throat> of Skyrim. Oh, gosh. Mm. All right, oh. Pens. Number one for you, sir. Okay. Only because, like I said, I read this, but uh, back to Halo, it's going to be the profit of regret <laughs> on the it, level regret. <laughs> because the simple, it's the full of regret. Of, <laughs> yes. Well, the, the, the thing is, is that the mechanics are actually kind of interesting because you're sitting there, <clears throat> you know, the in combating um, the, the honor guards and all that other stuff, and then you come a across regret who has like a souped up version of fuel rod cannons in his throne. Um, but you know, and you're sitting there and you're shooting him and it's like, he's not taking any damage. What the heck? (laughs) It took a while to realize, Oh, wait a minute. You have to find your way, jump on the the throne and punch him. Oh, geez. Which is disturbing. Yeah. Which is disturbing as hell. Oh my gosh. Like it felt so (laughs) bad. Like it, it was one of the weirdest feelings beating that guy because it's like, literally you're beating him and all you can all like, even as a kid, all I could think of is like, this makes me feel really awkward because it's basically me being a seven foot super soldier beating on a person who's stuck in like the equivalent of a wheelchair. And I was yeah. so upset, but also so annoyed at him as a as like as a mechanic oh. thing. Well, uh. I mean, it, it, and plus, <clears throat> excuse me, it, it took so many times. I mean, e- even the first time I played through, I think I played it on heroic, and after like the third or fourth time, I'm like, oh, please die. <laughs> yeah, because it takes like then, what, like four times of like punching him. I think. I think. If, if you do it if you do it right, it's I think five times on heroic and I think seven times on legendary. Um, <laughs> and it's just like at the same time you're trying to avoid you know getting killed by any number of the honor guard that's there, and it's just like. Plus, then he starts hovering in places that you can't jump up at, so you're so you almost have to run in do a loop around the room to get him to move to a better place. Oh, you still have to not get killed by him. Yo, did yeah, I the watch best you but, play this? I think the, I watched you the, play that level. The most yes, annoying yes, part that he did. he hovers is the water. When he decides to hover over the water on the far, like in the back of the, I'm like, so you have to like do the weird hop, skip, jump over in midair. Oh. Uh, uh. Yeah, yeah. I never got that far. Uh, <laughs> I like how Pence just literally cursed in chat yep, so he can yep, get it yep, out, yep, so he doesn't yep. say it verbally. Yep. Oh my so, goodness! So so accurate. So I will say this much after uh-huh. after I um after doing it, 
there was, I mean, I, I kind of, I was totally exhausted because it's so stressful and everything, but I was still just like, finally, <laughs> it was just, eesh. yeah, I had that reaction when I finished, um, like <clears throat> beat this last boss or this boss that is my number one. <clears throat> Ironically, I don't think many people actually know his name. And it's Encar. Does either of you remember? Because I that, know you both have played this, this level. What, what game was this? Oh, it's Destiny. It's the boss at the end of the last word quest. Oh yeah, well, you have f, to oh, f that guy, f that guy. That I've too. had to, oh, I've had to play. Oh, I had to beat gosh. him like three different times. I realize that, but just. Yeah. Oh, good. I have something to look forward to. Well, no, yes. my, so like my, my favorite part was I was, that was during a stream, I think, wasn't it? That we did that, that it glitched out on me. Oh my God. Actually, I, I like that. I like that fight. I like like how they did that. The only oh, problem yeah, I had I with too. it was the was the random glitch that I ran into. But I mean, yeah. other than that, like the the but, the mechan the little mini game I thought was really cool. Okay, so like the mini game is fine, but as somebody who has never in her entire gaming career ever not aimed down sights and always like, oh. I I've never hip fired, so I had no experience with hip firing until that mission. Which, granted, I have learned to hip fire since then. I finished mm. that mission, but I I cursed about as much in that mission as I did during Trials Evolution, trying to finish some of the stupid triumphs in that game, because some of the triumphs are just ridiculous. <laughs> There's so so the reason why I kind of giggle is because I oh my gosh I can't f remember pins you might know this. But like I remember going to the stockyards in Fort Worth, and there's a there's this arcade video game where it's literally a gunslinging duel, and it's like oh I know which game and it is. and it's like oh, and you yeah. like literally you have to stand next to this thing that has the six shooter in it, and you got you got to speed draw it, and like that's all I can mm -hmm. think of that entire mechanic like that entire mini game was I'm like. <laughs> I just like I had the the whole to I can't even remember the music but I had like that that music running in my head and I'm like oh my gosh I think it was like an was it wasn't an Atari no it wasn't I'm going to have to google and see if I can find this stupid thing um, It's just like no it wasn't I don't think it was an Atari game um was it just Gunslinger was that what it was I don't remember what it was called. Yeah, here it is. 1983 Electrotechnics Gunslinger Gunslinger Coin Operated. Yeah. This thing. Oh, my gosh. This thing oh. was like the bane of my childhood whenever we'd go playing with it. It was it was a fun mm -hmm. thing, but it was just like, I. It, it's just, yeah. Yeah. That one was, oh, in car just was the bane of my existence for a good evening. Julie actually made me shut the door. Normally I can game without shutting the door just fine. Like she does not hear me. She is not a big deal, but that night I got quite loud as far as like <laughs> my frustration and anger levels. Yeah. Oh, it was yeah. Not I remember that one. You remember that? All so right. it's gunslinger is a 1983 mm -hmm. arcade thing. If you haven't, if you haven't played it, I'm sorry. It was really fun. That guy cheated half the time. Yes, too. he anyway. did. He did cheat. Well, it's, it's, I mean, well, it was accurate, that's... right? Like that. <laughs> Sure. Uh -huh. <laughs> salty green. I'm I'm super salty about that game. Um, yeah, there's a couple of different arcade games that, like that I won't touch again, <clears throat> just because I'm like, you cheat, you're a jerk, <laughs> I don't like you. <laughs> Goodbye, sir. Goodbye, sir. Yes. All right. Also, Rands. You two just throw out whichever also Rand characters. Archetypes, whatever. What uh, else are your villains? Once you got past like level seven on Galaga, that game could go f itself. Um, because those stupid bugs kept dropping all over the place, and it was just mm -hmm. like you can't keep up with them. Um, the dog from Duck Hunt. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I shot that thing you're so just, many times. And you're just, just bad at died. this. 
You're just mm-hmm. bad at this. <laughs> God. Jerk. First time I ever hated a character was the dog and duck hunt. Um, <laughs> no lie. Like, there's just nothing like being mocked by a character that's supposed to be cute. Anyway, uh, May from Overwatch was another one. She's not necessarily an evil character, <laughs> but she Go talk is to cer- Justin about his theory oh, on May. Okay, so that, yeah. The fact that she supposedly killed everybody at her base <laughs> in the Antarctic. That's entirely Justin's headcanon. There's no validity oh, to every any of no, that. No, there's not. There's not. <laughs> but, oh, God. <laughs> Bleh. May. Yeah, Wet Chinchilla knows what I'm talking about. It's May is a... Out of all the Overwatch characters, I don't care who it is, May is the most annoying. Because that stupid freeze. Like, I hate being slowed. I hate that that just you're running away and you're just getting slower and slower and slower and you're like, I get all <laughs> then just an icicle to the head because she's a cruel, cruel mistress. <laughs> anyway, um Blue, do you have some also rans? Uh the Dramora from or the the demons from Oblivion and the dragons from Skyrim are the big ones for me. You know, like, the I didn't have any problems with the demons from oblivion because i had invisibility rings um, oh no i had invisibility rings but my thing was i was i was a masochist for doing things before i was supposed to so i would con i would constantly sneak into the the hellscapes and find mm-hmm. the because they had the the towers that you could climb and they always had like super really really valuable loot and i'm a rogue player that's what i do and so my entire thing was i was like i know i really shouldn't do this for the next like you know 10 levels or 50 levels you know whatever it's just just don't get caught right i would grind i would grind through towers because literally it would be the point where i could like if you get seen you get killed like one shot it's ridiculous but i'd manage it and it was just like i just remember being like i play i played that game like thief like I just I remember playing literally a level where I I it took me I think it was about twenty five hours to get through in a tower because I and at the end of it it was like it wasn't even a point of getting the treasure at the end. It was more of a I'm gonna get to the top of this tower because F all of you. Like mm-hmm. and it's just and it's, it's, it's just like I yeah, it's trying. just like I'm like I'm like, no, yeah. no, no. Yeah. You can go back to the you know, whatever. And it was oh my god, like the the but then um with uh Skyrim, the dragons, that was like that was like it I had to break my 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 new normal strategy uh, and actually start using uh, the shouts, like the magic mm-hmm. component. And once you do that, once you start using, like, I think it's dragon rend. Oh my gosh, they become super easy, right? Because it it knocks them out of the sky, which is the biggest annoyance with them. They like they're like, oh, they make captains and destiny look like simple walks because dragons are like, oh, you're hurting me. I'm gonna go fly ten miles away, heal, yeah. and then come back and find you and eat you <laughs> because yeah. yeah. My brother, reasons. my brother played Skyrim, and I think the funniest fight I have ever witnessed was him um, trying to make it back to I don't remember which town he was heading to, but he was over encumbered. Oh no! Oh. Yeah, and, and then you're like, it freezes, to refuse drop to drop anything. anything. <laughs> so <laughs> him so, trying to fight a dragon while moving oh, no! slowly. No! It was hilarious to watch. I know it, that pain. I know that that was Morrowind. Morrowind for me yeah. was that because Skyrim, uh, Skyrim, you they like I think it was Oblivion actually that they introduced like the idea of like uh, wet or armor that increased your carry limit. They didn't really have that in Morrowind. If they did, mm-hmm. it was like really hard to find. At least for me. And so like, but I Morrowind was like ninety percent of Morrowind was me going. Okay, I'll be back in three hours and just like rubber banding something, like rubber banding the joystick because I was like, I'm over encumbered, mm-hmm. but I'm not, I'm not dropping anything. You come back and you're like, yeah. got stuck in a corner. It's like, oh. Yeah, definitely. All right, Pins, do you have any others or Blue, any others? Um, <clears throat> yeah, no. I mean, there was a, a game called Outlaws. Uh, from this was 97 mm-hmm. um <clears throat> first person shooter western game 
kind of a it was a revenge type game. It was it was mm. pretty good. I had I enjoyed it a lot. But there was one one of the bad guys, his name was Sanchez. He had actually faced him kind of early. And he um <clears throat> He, he would wield two six guns and they were exceedingly powerful. And it was kind of one of those things that you couldn't face him straight up. Um, and uh, it ends up that like the way you had to beat him is you had to like dig this hole and <laughs> trap him in it. Dig this hole. Oh, you no, had to no, bury he's not. No, 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 you no, no. You dug a pit hole for him to fall. Yes. Oh, you had yes. to you had to trick him into like, uh, yeah. Mm hmm. <laughs> Okay. Es- essentially, you had like peek, have him see you, but not shoot you. <laughs> run away. Peek, make sure he was still there, and then lure him to that spot. And oh, God, <laughs> the, the the other thing, the other part of it was that um, he could climb out of the hole if you weren't fast enough. But I feel like this is Wiley e. Coyote it, and Roadrunner. And you know, you're, but, you're not wrong. Ra- you're not no, wrong. Ra- just give. Wrong. Give both of them really powerful guns, and then you'd be a little bit more on ac- the accurate side. And you're you're a freaking coyote trying to capture them. Oh, uh, Lord. Yeah, either that or you're either that or you're the roadrunner with actually. <laughs> I mean, uh, oh, beyond that, God. the only other one that I think I had that drove me up a wall was um, I used to be really big into flight sims, especially the combat flight sims. Mm-hmm. And um, one of the Microsoft Combat Flight Sims, which was the European theater, <clears throat> um, you could fly as one of the uh, Tuskegee Airmen. And they were one of the first ones to come across and fight German jet fighters. Trying okay. to shoot down a jet fighter in a P-51. <laughs> drove me up a wall. <laughs> Any flying game or vehicle pew, pew. game, I am pew, pew. terrible at. I mean, I have, I had, have tons of respect now for any of those pilots that faced those jets and were able to kill any of them. Because I'm like, can't find this, them. This, no, no, no they it just the, and they're gone. Yeah. Dang. All right. You know, actually, a good a, a good one that I completely forgot is dysentery. From Oregon Trail. Oh, from oh, Oregon God. Trail. Because technically that's not a villain, but yeah. Uh um, I beg to differ because <laughs> <laughs> that thing was out to get you from before you even knew it, it existed. Yeah. Like, Jesus, oh. that game. Like I remember playing that game when I was little, and I was just like, I'm like, this game is rigged. You talking about a game that cheated. I'm like Oh yeah. I never oh finished God. Oregon Trail. I I gave up. I was just like the <laughs> Dysentery whatever. was the true in game villain. <laughs> that or we being had, bit by a snake. In being that bit game. by a snake, like the so I played the one that I played <laughs> with. I didn't. I never played the like o, OG Oregon Trail. I played. Uh, Microsoft had like multiple iterations, but there was one that actually had like a, a number of mini games inside of it, and that's the one I grew up mm-hmm. kind of playing. And I remember like. The Fording Rivers was was a fun mini game until you figured out that the whirlpools actually were <laughs> AI controlled and they hunted you. And I was like, that <laughs> that what? was disturbing as all That's hell. That's insane. Um, because like you, the mini game, it's basically like Frogger. You had to get across uh-huh. the river, mm-hmm. and they they had these like little oh, things, okay. and it was like, I'm gonna come get you. And I'm like, I'm already a child and nervous about quicksand. You do not need to feed into this fear. Um, and then there, so there was that. And then I remember one playthrough, I was like, literally, we were, we were like five miles out from the end of the game. And I had like one person left alive and I'm like, I'm going to make it. And it like, you like get like, it was like just at the court, the gate of like finishing the game. Bop. Yeah, no, Mm. that's Raz is making fun of it. But that is literally pretty much what happened. <laughs> Blue yeah. died from dysentery. <laughs> Sally died from the freaking wagon Browning. getting eaten by a whirlpool. And mm-hmm. God, Fred's just dead. <laughs> they shot your they dog. They shot your dog. Oh, man. There's so many like gr- like 
in high school we would we would get to like or not high school in middle school we got to like do like game like game lab and stuff like that and Oregon Trail was one of the ones that we were they they let us play and there's was just like so many freaking <clears throat> just hilarious setups we have like and then talking to other kids who were like were in high school and school at the same time as me they also had similar stories and like just hearing like the just hilarious things that there's one there was one i can't remember who it was but they were talking about they had a friend who bought everything everything they bought was uh cheese pew, pew. they bought choo, choo. all this cheese. cheese they but they spent all their money on cheese and grandfather clocks he died and, from <laughs> and, yeah oh no that actually so but what happened was pew, pew. they, choo, they choo. started the journey they got like five feet out of the gate and their wagon broke and they didn't have any money to fix the wagon so they oh, couldn't even no. they like and it wasn't an option to like go pew, back pew. so pew, pew. <laughs> basically died of starvation five feet outside the starting gate even though oh. he has boxes and boxes of cheese <laughs> it's oh, just like, I'm like oh my god this is that amazing pew, pew. Choo, choo. Oh, all right uh, one final one for me and then we're wrapping up and it is one i'm still yet to beat solo it is the stupid ogre in <laughs> pew, pew. i cannot beat it choo, solo choo. yet i know there's ways to do it i don't have some of the tools to do that yet i don't have the shotgun with one two punch i don't have some of the other things other ways to do it i have put over 17 hours Ooh. into trying to beat that boss so far yeah, i did saying. like i did 30 oh. minutes and i was like pins uni <laughs> get in here we're doing podcasts but i need to we oh, need yeah. to we I, need to do this we need to do this, point silent. At this point. i will beat that boss someday oh yeah no and that's, then i will I get that. take the disc out and <laughs> maybe pee on it a little bit and just teabag it to death because i'm done I will conquer <laughs> destiny. That will be my conquering dance. Anyway. On that note. <laughs> on that note. Thank you. Everybody loves the list. <laughs> Everybody loves the list. <laughs> Transmat firing. Oh. Transmat firing. Oh my God. I'm just, that is like the worst. In it. <laughs> Zach, he has an emote for that. Oh my gosh. Oh my God. <laughs> Yeah, when you're so mad about it. All right, oh, I'm gonna go to the. Speaking of going, to the oh, restaurant. is that actually I'm, the end? Was that actually the end? Okay, yeah, I'm done. Okay. I'm, All right, yeah, we're, I'm cutting it there. <laughs> uh, be right back. Oh, All right, <laughs> transmit firing. <laughs> I remember Outlaws because I remember the cover art for that game. I love the cover art for that game. The music in it is what I, I is what really uh, stuck with me. Um, the music was so good. I mean, I've always loved westerns, so mm -hmm. and I'm sorry, Ennio Morricone is one of the greatest uh, composers ever, um, straight up, and um, <clears throat> all the work he's done on westerns and whatnot. It just the music was so good, and uh, I mean, it was pretty simple game you know you could carry yeah. like all kinds you could carry a gatling gun with you <laughs> so it was that's all, you, that's all you need yep actually give me a second i'll be right back yeah no worries see you <laughs> uh, when green ends the show by peeing on a disc it's fine look all you need and to then, know is green, mm -hmm. will de green will defeat destiny yes and that ogre is the final boss in my mind and then there was <laughs> one yeah yeah pretty much Oh, Pins had to go to the restroom. <clears throat> yeah, he took a, he took a break real quick. Cool, 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 cool. Oh, <sighs> that was an interesting top three. <laughs> mm. 
Frustrations top three. Top three frustrations. No, no, that's a that's a non uh that's a kid, non that's okay a okay for work. Yeah, that's a that's a non kid friendly one is what that one is. Oh yeah. Uh, dangers. Okay, so where are you storing some of these? Because I've been moving things over into the archive files. FFC archive. There we go. What are we doing? We don't need. I'm moving the dangers of gambit show notes into the files. Oh no! Yeah. I was using those. <laughs> oh no, I wasn't. I was done with that. What? One. Yeah, we did that last week. I was like, uh, what are you doing? Believe me, I I actually I realize you wait to do the show notes for the sh for the website. That's why I don't move them right away. <laughs> yes, I love you. <laughs> Stop, Arnett, like. <laughs> This is like this is like when <laughs> Kashin comes out. She's like, "You need to clean this." I'm like, "Don't touch anything." The chaos, <laughs> the chaos makes sense in my brain, and it just don't touch anything. A disorganized desk is the sign of an organized mind. <laughs> yes, yes. Yeah, Aaron doesn't buy that either. Well, the funny but thing I is, know is, where everything is. Yeah, that's the thing is, like, I do actually know where everything is. Mm-hmm. Oh, I, I am the same way. My desk is not very organized either. It's just when we have, because of the new s setup, when we have one, two, three, four, five, six different show notes available to mm -hmm. look at. Yeah, no, I get I it. need to, re I, I just need to move things. Well, and I think because I also, moving the extra lore into the same folder, I think is. oh my gosh, sorry. So instead of Stop extra lore it. note archive, I'm not yawning. You're yawning. No, that's me. That was me. So, what are you okay. saying? Instead of what? Where Where did you actually move it? Are you, you have FFC episode archive? Are you moving the? Are you moving the extra, extra lore? I see. I see all the things. I so yeah. So you see extra lore note archives. Just drop mm -hmm. the drop the show notes from like so like EL forty two. We'll just mm -hmm. drop it in that folder. Because if you okay. open up that folder, that's where all the other ones are. Yeah. I didn't realize it was in a different place. It yeah, it was yeah. Yeah. It yeah, was, that was I was created well and I created the arch I created too. Yeah, I created like the uh this architecture back when we were we didn't have as many different stuff going on. So uh -huh. it's like it's like this has gotten more complex. <laughs> so I'm like this is this is round hole square peg. Like <laughs> all right, we're going to need to cut some corners off this thing. Eh, it just needs to evolve a little bit. Yeah, it's just me being OCD about folder structure. Yeah, the special notes archives or the special episodes are like the behind the scenes stuff. And I think mm -hmm. I have like that's another one that I'll eventually get around to reorganizing because if you go in there, actually I'm going to probably do the same thing to that folder that I did to uh, Extra Lore. Because if you go in there, it's the same structure that the Extra Lore was. So, okay. Yeah, no, I can do that here later. Oh, yeah. How's how's the uh, table? <clears throat> oh, um, Julie's mad at it, mad at it again. Um, this is a normal but, thing. So but is it? it's not broken. It's not finished, so okay. it's still broken because um, she stained it earlier last week, and she's gone through three different iterations of stain on it because she is a perfectionist and is mad at the wood for the wood not taking the stain the same way all the way across it, even <laughs> though it's wood and it's natural. Not going and it's to. Not, it's not going to. Um, <laughs> so, yeah. It's just <laughs> smile and let her your wife yeah, just, do what just she wants get, to do. Yeah, just get out of the way and let her, let her do it. Yep. <laughs> but uh, after three iterations of stain, apparently she, because of the stain being an oil base, you have to do a water-based sealant over the top of it before you epoxy because the epoxy will draw yeah. the oils out if you yeah, don't. Pull the oil. Yeah. And so she got a different brand of water-based sealant oh, no. to Did use. It? 
And so what she, what happened is she it went on unevenly because it was the spray sealant. It was Ooh. pretty easy guy. It went on un, unevenly, and then you're supposed to go back over it with tw- uh, 220 grit sandpaper to create yeah. pores for the epoxy to grip, right? And oh, no. it just almost came completely back off. She's just like, oh, fuck it, uh, I, I'm that's done. Never this sucks. <laughs> But uh, the plan is to steal, still um, do the epoxy on Sunday, and then it'll have a good while to s- completely harden and seal up before we have guest over. But it has been an ordeal. Also, um, mobile groomers, mobile dog groomers are not all same, all the same. Uh, my dog looks very weird right now because <laughs> the groomer. <laughs> decided weirder than <laughs> usual right right i mean he normally looks like einstein which is fine like it's it's, it's fine he's just got crazy hair but he got this teddy bear cut right oh, no. which is fine <laughs> he has the teddy bear face cut but the rumor decided to chop off all the excess length on his ears nope. so he has like pigtails along oh, with no. the, and it's not even like <laughs> oh, it's just so bad and it's he's just a poofy mess, and Julie's gonna <clears throat> go back and shave through some of the stuff. That just <clears throat> we're like, what? What the fuck, dude? Like, what were you thinking? Oh. And he was this nice older man, and he had his own truck. And it's, it's like, it's, oh, great. it's Colorado. You know, there was maybe mm. some stuff going on. No, I doubt that. I highly doubt that. But you never know. I mean, I saw him before I left for work. And- Everything was fine. Everything seemed fine, but oh, it wasn't Buddy. Buddy doesn't need Buddy doesn't need shaving. Um, Buddy is a short hair who actually sheds. Caleb is a Bichon mix, which means he's like a golden or uh, a poodle. He grows mm-hmm. hair, not fur, and it doesn't shed. So he just continually grows and grows and grows, and you have to cut it. Buddy, I've never had to cut his hair. I wouldn't want to cut his hair. But Caleb, Caleb's a mess. Yeah, because short hairs, you can just groom and they'll. Yep. Yeah. They're like horses, just. <clears throat> yep, yep, yep. All right, let me pull this intro up. Oh, right. The intro. Do I have my. my I don't new... know. You're going to make up something, I'm assuming. Yep, I am. <laughs> I uh, the first one that came to mind was not PG. Um, <laughs> Just say, hi, I'm green. I have a lot of skills. Uh, I uh, that was not the one. I was going to say I'm Wow. Go to go to Monty oh. Python. I have never, never mind. No, never, no, never. I'm not saying it. I'm not going to finish that sentence. <laughs> no good's going to come of it. No that. good of that's going to. Yep. No. Uh, I bet. Okay, so Wicked's been writing these commercials for weapons. I know it's the super good advice one. Is the one that? Oh, mine's worse. <laughs> oh um, no! Do the commercial. I'm not doing the commercial right now. No, thank you. No. Well, no, you can always you. do Potato's favorite one. I I will I will put the text for it in your chat or in our private chat, and then show you why I'm not going to say this right now while there's an audio recording and a Twitch recording mm-hmm, going on. Mm-hmm. That's exactly why I didn't finish <laughs> mine. I'm like, nope, nope, mm-mm, negative. It's bad. It's funny, but it's bad. Oh, God. It's real bad. <laughs> I just look over. I read, like, what is that? The <laughs> the third, fourth paragraph. <laughs> <laughs> door opens <laughs> <laughs> nothing nothing <laughs> just uh, make it a make a commercial the plan is to have julie actually come and help with this a little bit so she'll be the the door o- i'm not going to say you guys will hear it eventually i've recorded the first part of it and the it's ending, it's the ending is the best part <laughs> Which part? The oh god! Oh my! Oh, oh my god! god. <laughs> oh yeah! 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 Um. 
Oh gosh, yeah, that's that'll oh. happen. You guys will hear it eventually. It's not something that could ever be played on the show because no. of um, obvious Absolutely reasons, not. especially not. with the way that I am actually recording it because oh, I am no. not it's holding back. It's going to have to be an FFC After Dark one. It would be yes, it would certainly be an After Dark one. I am not holding back when I'm recording it. Just. Just fair, fair warning. Oh my god! Oh man, oh. fax it. <laughs> oh gosh. Anyway, <clears throat> that is a thing that's happening. <clears throat> that's- oh my gosh, <laughs> the blue cackle trademark. That's like, you know, that all I can think of is Fraggle. <laughs> Fraggle trying uh-huh. to trademark is Fraggle Rage, or what was it? What was it he tried to trademark? Oh. Wasn't it? I thought it wasn't it. Fraggle Rage. I thought it was Fraggle Rage. I it was Fraggle Rage. Was it Fraggle Rage? Oh my God, God. Fraggle. Jesus <laughs> Christ. Fraggle. I haven't heard from him in years yeah. now. Yeah. Uh. That, <clears throat> my goodness. Okay. All right. <clears throat> all right, Pins. Get ready because you're doing all the talking. Yeah, I know. <laughs> All right, let's get this back recording started. I will put a marker on the stream. And all right, here we go. Welcome to Focus Fire Chat, recorded live on September 6, 2019, over on twitch.tv slash focusfirechat. As always, I want to give a big shout out to our live chat here with us tonight. Thank you so much for joining us once again. This week's episodes are going to be focused around exploring the topic of August's extra lore topic, Halo. This particular episode will serve as what we lovingly call the introductory session of the week's exploration. Before we go any further, however, let's run through a quick introduction of who all we have with us on the show. As always, this is your host, Blue Crew 86. And this is the incredibly charming yet awkwardly delicious Green Eyed Music Lover. For a second there, when you first started, I thought I heard music in the background. And I was like, <laughs> wow. Wow. You are like, you are just. I, all I hear, like, I just heard like this little Tinder, like, nee, 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 nee. I was like, that's well you know, done. I can't even be mad at you, Green. Like, that's just. I'm going to give you a round of applause. You know, that's going to be a, that's going to happen at one of these, one of these. Now you just gave me an idea for next week. Um, <laughs> just the jet, the, the smooth jazz. <laughs> but, <laughs> no, that's not that jazz. Not that jazz. Not that jazz. That's a different, that's a different jazz. Uh, but, uh, sorry. <laughs> And le- Petricor, what? Uh, and last <laughs> but definitely not the least. <laughs> uh, and last but definitely not the least in the hot seat as guest goes, we have our good friend Ben Salo. Ben. <laughs> How are you doing? I How are you doing? <laughs> I'm doing good. Thank you. You Okay. All right, let's try let's try this again. Usual question. Where can we find you on the internet? Um find me on Twitter at uh pens underscore halo. Um also um I am trying to get back into the streaming uh, if Mixer can ever kind of get its head out of it, head out of its fourth point of contact um, at mixer.com slash pensalo. Uh, trying to down. get back into <clears throat> um, streaming the Halo campaigns. And uh, once I get through my legendary run, I'm tending on trying to do a chronological legendary run. <laughs> with missions throughout the end, all the Halo games. So, yeah, that'll be fun. Sorry, Green. Just having a bit of... Okay. Um, so, yeah, and, and as usual, guys, don't worry about trying to memorize all of it. I'm going to be sure to get all those links uh, posted over in our show notes on thelorenetwork.com when the, the advanced session goes live this week. Um, so... 
real quick, I know Green usually has some of her crazy, 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 man, crazy, crazy, crazy questions. I'm just going to start saying it like that. <laughs> Actually, Green, you know what I what I realized last week with Teej uh, between mm-hmm. like struggling for breathing because that was mm-hmm. hilarious. But like <laughs> what it, what I really want us to do from now on mm-hmm. is I want you to structure this in the what is your like just. Just do the Monty Python because that's all I can think of every single time you start this out is what is, and all I can hear is what, what is the average what? wing beat per second of a swallow carrying a coconut? Oh my gosh, we are never going to finish this episode. Nope. No, no. What is your favorite little story from Halo? <laughs> yes! <laughs> my <favorite>. ah! <laughs> Okay. Honestly, probably, the, probably my favorite um, overall is going to be uh, one of the stories out of uh, Halo Evolutions. It's um, the it's by Eric Nyland, and it's the impossible life and probable death of Preston J. Cole. Oh yeah, uh, it is an amazing read. It's it's written very interestingly kind of as as in a report format kind of with other tech other normal storytelling kind of dropped in um but it's 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 really good and actually Cole was one of the characters I thought about talking about tonight um because he was the Spartans before the Spartans were made public he was he was the the face of the UNSC in combat against the Covenant, and uh, it's just a really really interesting story. I would probably say that's probably my favorite one okay. uh, out of that. Um, so would would that be the one that got you into lore exploration, or is there um, is there no, that, what no, that, is, got you into lore exploration? Now I'm just going weird witchy voice. It's fine. So that's that's definitely going to be um, the fall of reach. Um, again, written okay. by Nyland. Mm-hmm. Um, the greatest thing about that particular uh, book is that um, it was written in seven weeks. <laughs> it was released wow. a, oh, I a remember month story. before. It was re- it was released a month before um, Halo Combat Evolved was released. And it was written in seven weeks. And it, it, it to me, I mean, um, after playing Combat Evolved, <clears throat> you know, I was, was interested. And then I saw, oh, wait a minute, there's this novel. And I picked it up and I was enthralled. Um, the way Nyland um, made the characters come to life John, Cortana, Halsey, um, even the feeling for some of the other characters like Ackerson uh, and whatnot, um, mm-hmm. the other members of blue team, it was just really, really good. And uh, it just, I couldn't, ha- I didn't get an- I couldn't get enough after that. I just kept piling on after that and after that. And 27 novels later, <laughs> I'm oh still gosh. reading them. And right. I still go, I still go back and read that novel. Um, you know, at, at least twice a year, I go back and reread that. So nice. So I have instead of like the normal question of like what's your class or anything like that is, I mean, obviously that applies more to Destiny than Halo. I actually yeah. want to ask you kind of a um, perspective, opinion, question, and this one actually kind of goes to Blue too because I'm genuinely interested in both your guys's perspective on this. But the announcement of the possible Halo TV series coming out. <laughs> supposedly oh. i want to know what your thoughts are on these it's interesting um <clears throat> the uh there's still some debate on the canonicity mm-hmm. that's the right word for it of that <gasps> um, surprise face yes. yeah but i'm i'm still interested because if it's written well mm-hmm. um and it tells a good story. Um, I'd be interested in it. And uh, I can't remember the actor's name who's playing John. He was in American Gods and he played the Leprechaun. And I can't think of his name right now. 
Um, I'm interested in him because he's a he's a pretty tall guy. Uh, let's see here. And just also um, some of the other characters. Uh, what is it? Natasha McElhone. McElhone is going to be Halsey. Yeah. Uh, and Cortana. Uh, it's like, mm -hmm. oh yeah, that I, that's to me that's a great casting. I'm interested to see how they're going to do Parangoski. Um, if there's a chance they may try to redeem <laughs> her in my eyes, uh, or Pablo Pablo yeah, Schreiber no. is master. Chief. That's it, Pablo Schreiber. Yeah. Oh, interesting. Shabana Azmi is going to be pairing. Oh, oh, that's yeah. that is going to be interesting. What's she your actually, perspective? No, I mean, sorry. Ahead, no, no. No, my my perspective is actually the exact same. Like, um, after the uh, the. How do I say this gently? Atrocity that was the TV slash Netflix fall of reach mm -hmm. thing. Oh God! Um, which I just my biggest problem with it was the deviations that they took. Like honestly, yeah. like <clears throat> I I I wasn't I wasn't a huge fan of the medium that they presented in. But honestly, that's not. I mean, like I can get over that. But it was the the changes that they made to the book in that presentation, like. It, it it actually did change quite a bit of of okay. the interpretation of the story. So like again, mm -hmm. it's like, you know, if they're if they're faithful to the content matter, like, you know, forward unto dawn, uh amazing, yeah. amazing uh little video I guess T V was it a TV? Did you consider that a TV series it's or a, it's like a well, no, it, it was a web series? A, yeah, it was a web series. Um and it so, was I mean, you know Oh god, that it was just that was just well done. Um, oh, it was. It was the uh, the the lead up the the TV show that was the lead up. God, I just blanked on it. The lead up to Halo Five. I know Halo got Nightfall. A Nightfall. I know it got a lot yeah. of like bad press. I actually I actually didn't mind it. I thought it was okay. I, I I thought it was like I thought it did a really good job of kind of actually showing like the perspective of normal humans. Um, yeah. Because that's something that like uh, ODST Halo Three ODST. That's one of the mm -hmm. things that you you jump into that game. And you're like, all right, I got this, and you run into the covenant. And you're like, nope, I don't got this. Nope. Like, <clears throat> you don't, you don't. It it really drives. Yeah, it's like I'm like, why are you so big? Like, it's like you know, it's like you you it it drives home again that kind of you're not seven feet tall. You're not the super soldiers. Um, right. So I mean, it, again, it's it's like you know, if they're, you know, what Pins is saying, like it. it <clears throat> It, it really could be either way. Um, I think that the strength does kind of lie in from all I'm seeing. It's not going to be rehashing stories that we've already been told. If mm -hmm. I believe, if I remember, yeah. if I remember that correctly, yeah, it's going to be, it's going to be a new like Avenue, which mm -hmm. to me is a benefit. Um, yeah, I will be honest quite recently i have been extremely disappointed with a lot of the recent interpretations from uh comic books or books to videos like it's just like progressively in my opinion gone downhill as far as accuracy um, is that because there's like different writers involved or is it just because uh, of the different producers so, or what's 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 the reasoning behind this um so like the most recent example that actually has nothing to do with halo it's the boys uh amazon uh, uh eric Krippy did it and uh it's it's vast it, it's a completely different story from the comics uh which was not how it was kind of presented um and it's it was just like it was very bittersweet because it had so much potential uh because if they did the comics it would have 